Hi guys, it's Marina from Tech News, and I know I don't publish so much anymore, but today I had such an inspiration to share with you my two favorite object methods in JavaScript. So without further ado, subscribe to my channel and let's go. So today I'm going to show you my two favorite object methods in JavaScript that during my last project I've used a lot and they're so useful. Okay, let's start. Let's start with our terminal. Let me increase that. Okay, so cd into desktop and make a directory that we will call um, js object methods. Okay, cd into js object methods and let's just create an index.js because we don't need actually anything else. Now let's go to our vir virtual st visual studio and open up our, mm, what am I doing? New file, okay. What the? Let's, let's open, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> okay, let's open our newly created folder and yes i trust i trust myself the most uh, what do we want to do here what we want to do here first of all let's create a very simple object like this let's call it answers Okay, answers and it will be a simple object where we have answer for a equals 10, b equals 20, c equals 30 and d equals 40. And so if we log this object, um, node mon index.js, let's run it. Mm -hmm. Ah, we need to save. Okay, so you see, we have an object A10, B20, C30, and D40. And my two favorite object methods is the first one. Um, the first one is called object.keys, where it allows you to access these A, B, C, and D um, values. So let's check it out. We can, um, we can access this uh, object method by specifying object.keys keys and in the brackets we specify the name of the object yes it's that simple now let's save and you see we have a list of a b c d yes um it looks like why we we can why why uh why is useful oh my god um without practicing youtube tutorials i totally forgot how to how to speak to a camera hmm. okay so this is the first method and the second method is called object.entries and it allows you to access the list of small lists of key value pairs. Let's see it in action. So object.entries and in the brackets we provide the name of the object. Now let's console log it and see what we have. You see we have a list of small lists. Uh, so cute. <laughs> A10, B12, C13, D40. So how can you actually use it in practice? So um, these methods um, allow you to change to chain to chain other methods to these dot keys and dot entries. So for example, how I use it in my projects is um, let's say object um, dot keys uh, answers. So we, we have access now to a list of A, B, C, D. And now we can chain a filter method, for example. And for every X, where X, X is A, B, C, or D, right? Where X is, um, let's say, A, we want to map through all those values. And for every value, we want to console log it. So console log X. So what do you think the results will be? It will be A. Pretty cool already. Um, but instead of console logging it, you can actually write any function you want here. Like, for example, you can change the value of this A um, key. Uh, let's say for every X, when we map through it, we want to change 
the value of x, x um, to be equal to 0. So now what do you think the answer, the, the output will be? If we, we need to console log also the initial objects. <laughs> It will be a equals to 0, b20, and etc, etc. So, we can manipulate the values of an object through this method. Filtering by the keys. So cool. And we can do also uh, the same with the entries. Let's try. Object.entries. We specify the answers. Uh, the name of the object data. Uh, the object... The object variable data type, <laughs> the variable of the object data type and then we change the filter method here um, and for every x but now instead of accessing the a b c d we have access to the list of lists so we need actually to filter where x um, index uh, 0 or index 1 if you want to filter by keys you specify index 0 because uh, zero index is A, B, C, D. But if you want to filter by the, the key values, then you specify the index one. Uh, let's say index one. Uh, so we now have access to these numbers 10, 20, 30, and 40 is greater than, for example, 20. And so we have a list of all these uh, mini lists where the um, value of the key is greater than 20. And we can map through it. And for every mapped value, we can let's first console log it. Uh, but we yes, yes. So you see, we have an uh, two lists if we console log it. Two lists only with key pair values where they meet this condition, uh, the filter condition. Okay, and we can also manipulate the values. So you can say. Uh, I want uh, for every x, where x index 1 is greater than 20, I want um, uh, answers of x index 0, because now we specify the, the letter here, uh, to be equal to 1. And so now, uh, if we console log again the object, we, can, we have manipulated the value of c and d, because c and d they were initially 30 and 40, and they have met this condition. So, honestly, these two methods, I love them, and they have so many uses. If you actually, uh, if you will actually um, apply them in the production, there were some cases where I could not have managed without this uh, this method. So I hope this uh, very small tutorial helped you a bit. And um, honestly, I'm so sorry that I, uh, I don't have enough time now to do a normal like. Uh, tutorial recently but uh, I believe that soon I will because for this year I have a lot of great plans to manage my time effectively uh, so. but now this is all I can do so I wish you a good day and um, I'll see you soon <laughs>